back with Community Matters. Camp Hachalega in South Hero celebrated 100 years of summer fun today. Local 22's Courtney Kramer was there for the celebration and she brought back this story. Saturday was a day full of reconnecting and reminiscing as generations of campers returned to Camp Hachalega for its centennial celebration. We're really excited to be able to celebrate 100 years of history of camp for women and girls. Camp Hachalega has offered summer camp to girls ages 6 to 17 since 1919. We left teary-eyed at the end of every summer and a bunch of us got teary-eyed when we came back. There's a real heart center here. Barbara, Brenda, and Treen all attended camp in the 50s, 60s, and 70s as young girls, and then worked as counselors. It's been 45 years since the trio has been back together. Camp was just such a big part of who I am today. It, it, you learn to be self-sufficient and independent and cooperative and team, and it was it's amazing how it molds you. But it didn't take long for them to pick up right where they left off. And, and here we are back saying hello and getting along. Hachalega! Camp H-O-C-H-E-L-A-G-A! Ra, ra, ra. And today's campers agree. It's like my favorite place to be in the summer. Like, it's like a second home, sort of. Just hanging out and having fun doing activities here and meeting new people, which is like the best thing ever, having relationships like that. Staff say it's the sense of community that's helped the camp withstand 100 years. And because that community piece is so front and center in everything that we do, people who were here in the 1940s, as evidenced by today, are back here feeling that same attachment to Hachalega as a place that they call home. Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News, South Hero. Looks like a pretty fun play, place. Camp Hachalega is the last operating young women's Christian association overnight camp in the entire country.